How's it going guys? Cody back again dropping you another video. Right guys, this is a story in the Shropshire Star about Stoke Heath Prison. Uh, I think this is the first uh, story I've covered about Stoke Heath actually. Um, so it says here, the story is in the Shropshire Star. The headline reads, Prison officer attacked on first day at Stoke Heath. A prison officer who was beaten by a Stoke Heath inmate on his first day in the job has been left uncertain he will be able to ever return to work properly. The officer had started work at Stoke Heath Young Offenders Institute near Market Drayton where he was attacked by Dean Price, a 21-year-old convict with a history of robbery, battery and GBH offences. The victim was the sole officer on the ground floor dealing with a number of inmates when Price came down the stairs to launch his assault. Prosecutor Sati Rook told Shrewsbury Crown Court about the incident October the 18th. She said, The officer turned towards the prisoner and he felt a sharp blow to the left side of his face. It knocked him back onto some telephone boxes. The defendant then punched him repeatedly with both hands about three or four times with each fist. He eventually managed to push the prisoner off and shout for assistance. As other prisoners went down, the defendant surrendered. Price was serving 45 months for his part in an attack with an accomplice on a woman, which resulted in her suffering severe burns and a fractured cheekbone. Well, he deserves a kicking for that because no one should hit a woman. Um, the pair beat her and threw a kettle of boiling hot water over her in a row over drugs. Price told the prison guard it was not a target attack and it was simply lashed out so he would be moved to another wing. Mrs Rook said the victim was taken to Royal Shrewsbury Hospital A&E department. His face, lips and nose were swollen. He had cuts to his face and a laceration to his back where he landed on the telephones. She said that the victim's impact statement, he said he is now suffers from anxiety, struggles to deal with crowds and is always looking over his shoulder. He said he needs counselling and he's been able to go back to work on restricted duties and does not know if he'll ever be able to return to his full workload. Price, whose address was given a Stoke Heath Young Offenders Institute, pleaded guilty to actually bodily harm. Paul Smith defending Price said he'd barely been out of custody since the age of 16. There's a problem that he could have become institutionalised. He's determined not to go back to prison after his sentence has been served. Judge Jeremy uh, P Baker told Price, The victim was 28 and it was his first day on the job. Uh, you have a serious list of offences. He sentenced Price to 10 months to be added to his current sentence. So just listen to that, guys, right? So the first bit where, he, just listen to this, right? So he got 10 months in prison. Right, so he'll do five on top of his sentence, right? Five months because you do half for good behavior, right? So it says here they make it sound so they, they make it sound like he's it's like a section 18 or a section 20. Do you know what I mean? It says prison officer who was beaten by Stoke Heath inmate on his first day on the job left uncertain he will be ever be able to return to work. That's bullshit. He got a couple of licks in the face, he fell back and got a little graze on his back. That's the truth of it, guys, right. The reason that this uh, prison officer um, is coming out with all this shit is because it's compensation, guys. That's what it is. There's a compensation culture up from prisoners. There's a compensation culture, and I don't blame them. And then there's prison officers who get a few licks in the face, and then they're like, oh, I'm having sleepless nights. They go to the doctor, they get the medication, they put the medication in the bin because they don't need it. And then it's all part of the, the longer it takes you to recover, the pound signs are flashing up because it increases your compensation that's the truth that's why this prison officer is uh playing the anxiety card on this and that you, you you join up to become a prison officer you're dealing with some of the most vulnerable and susceptible and violent men in, in, in around what do you expect to happen in the line of duty it's like becoming an olympic swimmer and then moaning about getting wet it comes with the territory simple as that that's it, guys. I'm not going to say any more on that. Uh, compensation culture from the prison officer, and that's why he's uh, throwing it out like he's going on like he's he's in a wheelchair and he's not ever going to be able to go back to work and just nonsense, guys. Compensation. The longer you drag it out, the longer your recovery is. The more ching, the more money, the more ching wonga dull, whatever you want to call it, that you get. Simple as that. Like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.